Meteorologist Dave Warren is in tonight for Craig. Has been all week. We got the weekend. It's here. It's upon us. What do we got in store? You know, a bunch of wind out there is what we have uh, here today and tomorrow. So uh, certainly look like uh, we've been talking about this for days today. Tomorrow the gustiest day, and we're seeing the wind still 15 to miles an hour, and uh, maybe a little higher gust now and then. Not quite as gusty as it was earlier, but uh, the wind gusting. So we have a small craft advisory that's in effect today and tomorrow. Uh, if you head out in the water, be careful. Five seven foot seas up to nine feet and choppy on the bays. That surf temperature there is 83 degrees. Live picture now shows we're still in the lower 80s. Had a little chill earlier in the week with that little cold front. A lot of bigger one coming up in the extended forecast. Be much lower numbers than this, but for right now, it's just a warm night tonight. Tomorrow morning, watch around the high tide. Small, uh, there's a uh, uh, coastal flood advisory uh, in effect for Palm Beach County and for Broward, Miami Day, just a coastal flood statement issue. Minor tidal flood flooding here around the high tides. 1022 will be the higher of the two high tides tomorrow. 1030 p.m. is the other high tide. In addition to the small craft advisory and the flooding, rip current risk is high. It's just a rough surf out there. Not much change tomorrow. The wind gusting 25 to 30 if you're at the beach with a temperature of 85 degrees. That UV index is high. Bringing in a few showers and pretty quiet right now in real time Doppler, but uh, these showers develop off the coast and they race inland just north of Hard Rock Stadium right now. It's right on the border uh, between the two counties and continuing to move over 75. There's a few more showers off the coast, so you might wake up to some rain or hear it overnight tonight. Not much of a change tomorrow with the forecast. High pressure continues to build into the north, uh, so we're seeing these showers moving through the area. Spotty showers off and on. Now things change a bit on Sunday. The wind changes direction a bit and not quite as gusty. There's still a few showers in and we're starting to see a bit more moisture come into the air. So maybe a few thunderstorms are developing Sunday into Monday. And here's what's impacting our weather this week. An area of low pressure developing. This will push a cold front through the area uh, by the middle of the week and things are set up perfectly. High pressure across the southeast pushing that cold air right down the Florida Peninsula. I say cold, we'll be into the 60s. It's cool, cooler. Uh, but both Thursday and Friday morning, uh, the coolest mornings, and then by the afternoon, uh, barely above 80, but we're still into the 80s. So uh, get ready for that little chill that we have coming in uh, later in the week. 89 degrees tomorrow, and then same thing on Sunday for the game. 89 degrees with a sc spotty shower and that uh, warm breeze continuing. Cooler temperatures at that cold front with showers and storms Tuesday. By Wednesday and Thursday, lows are into the 70s, even 60s, and highs are barely above 80 degrees.